Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today what I'm working on is a countertop, a granite countertop with a stainless steel sink. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm building a bar and I'm replacing a countertop that I have down in my basement with granite. And uh, with granite, you want to have an undermount sink because that's what keeps granite nice and flush. At least that's what the guy at the granite store told me when he was trying to sell me a sink and granite. So I went over to my buddy's house a week later and I'm standing there in his kitchen, we're talking, and I look at his sink. He has new granite over there, probably put in about a year ago. And I noticed that he has uh, an overmount sink, a sink that mounts on top of the granite. And I said, why did you do that? And he said, he doesn't want an undermount sink because of all the grime and dirt that gets in there. It's absolutely disgusting. And I'm thinking, well, the same thing's going to happen on an overmount sink. But I didn't want to argue with him. And maybe he'll watch this video. I know he's a subscriber. But uh, odds are he probably won't. But anyhow, I got a sink here. And we're going to take a look at it. And we're going to solve this mystery once and for all. This sink's been in a kitchen for three years. And it's mounted on granite. And it's an undermount. So the story goes something like this. The people were remodeling their kitchen and they had all this granite. It was kind of broken into chunks like this. And uh, they had a free sink with a really nice polar faucet. So this is mainly why I went because I got the sink and the faucet and it was all free. But I had to take this granite. So I'm probably going to put a piece or two underneath where my hose bibs come out of my house. To prevent you know water from digging a hole and I have a burn barrel in the back so I'm gonna put a piece under that and uh, I might use a little piece for uh, helping getting like heads flat and things like that for uh, lawn mowers but anyhow we got this sink and uh, we're gonna pop it apart and see if it's all disgusting and dirty I personally I think the undermount sink does look really nice with uh, granite so uh, let's get this detached and see what it looks like. So for those that are curious, here's how it's mounted. It just kind of has these uh, wing nuts and clips. And I imagine, yeah, there's silicone under there. So I'll start by taking off the clips. Well, I've never removed an undermount sink. So the tools of the job are gasket scrapers and a knife. Let's see if we can get under here. I don't know the best place to start, but I got to get this underneath here a little bit. I think I'm going to need a hand. I got a pocket knife, too. First thing I got to do is just kind of crack it open, it looks like. Whatever I do, I don't want to bend the sink. And I don't see any, like, openings or spots that appear where you're supposed to grab onto this thing. So here's the how you remove this thing. I'm just using these rounded putty knives. These are awesome. They're called grass busters or for uh, scraping grass off lawnmower decks. So you put them in, I'm overlapping them. There seems to be, uh, the silicone seems really good, which <laughs> indicates there probably isn't that much debris in here. My guess. But yeah, looks like you can remove the sink without breaking the granite if you needed to. And I got these out at uh, Pro Parts Direct.
Well, it's been three years that this sink's been mounted, and yeah, there's a little bit, but doesn't look that bad at all. I don't know how clean these people were, but that doesn't look bad. I mean, I don't see it really being much different if you had an overmount. And then we'll take a look at the granite. And it's the same type of thing. This is all silicone here and it has the debris is in here. Here's a little tip for you if you're installing an undermount sink. You can see the silicone from here all the way over to here. And uh, you can see right through it. It's crystal clear. So no dirt got into the silicone. So what you probably could do, and the installer should know this, if you put the silicone closer to the edge, you'll prevent a lot more debris from getting in there. And uh, another thing that you could do is run masking tape around here. So if you get any squeeze out, it'll go on the masking tape and then pull it. But, uh, you know, you'd think the installers would know that. I don't know. I don't think it's a real big deal. There is a little bit of debris, but not enough to make me want to get a, uh, un an overmount sink if you have granite. As I said, the idea from the granite guy was that when you get granite, you want it to be nice and smooth, and you don't want that lip there. So, I don't know if anyone else heard of this rumor or mystery, but uh, I feel kind of like I solved it, and I'd have no problem putting in an undermount sink. And uh, I really wouldn't recommend putting in an overmount just because of what the granite guy told me. So anyhow, guys, I'm Double Wide 6, and I appreciate you guys watching the video and commenting. Take care.